Welcome to the first of four modules, Sharing Best Practices for Engaging in Transdisciplinary Research. My name is Erica Key. I am the Executive Director of the Belmont Forum Secretariat. This training is a collaborative effort of a number of organizations that are actively advancing transdisciplinary approaches. We recognize the partnership of the Belmont Forum's e-infrastructure and data management project the International Science Council, START, Future Earth, and the Inter-American Institute for Global Change Research, who have helped us graciously prepare and narrate these slides. Each of the presentations will focus on a different aspect of transdisciplinary research, including co-design and engagement, open data and open access, and dissemination of outcomes. We recognize that these focal areas are interconnected and that a successful transdisciplinary project is developed with a coherent plan that incorporates all of these key components. We hope by the end of this training, you will have an understanding of the arc of preparing a transdis transdisciplinary project, including aspects of data management, communication through broad outlets and with an eye towards helping us meet the Belmont challenge. For our first installation, I would like to introduce Vivi Stavrou from the International Science Council, who will present on transdisciplinary research for social transformation. Vivi? Thank you, Erica. I'd like to start by um, putting out the Belmont Belmont Forum challenge, which is to support transdisciplinary research, providing knowledge for understanding, mitigating, and adapting to global environmental change. Transdisciplinarity is an increasingly relevant concept and research practice within academia and beyond. Although there is an increasing consensus on the relevance of the need to apply this practice, there's no consensus on a definitive definition of transdisciplinarity. However, I'd like to offer two definitions that will help to frame this discussion and that simply and neatly capture the key elements of TD research. Namely, that transdisciplinarity addresses societal problems by means of interdisciplinary collaboration as well as the collaboration between academic-based researchers and non-academic-based researchers and other societal stakeholders. TD research is an approach to problem solving and solution seeking that uses and combines various types of experience and knowledge. Integration across cognitive, societal and organizational, and communicative levels is the main challenge of the TD research process. The acceptance of and the practice of reflexivity, reflecting on the research process, the relationships and contributions of the different actors involved, is crucial to increase awareness and promote transformational change. And importantly, recognizing that doing science with society moves us beyond normal science into recognizing the normativity of sustainability science. If we accept that we are living in the Anthropocene, then there's no place to hide. And we are now facing the consequences of our actions over the past few hundred years. Tackling these complex poly crises requires new ways of knowledge production and decision making. Understanding planetary risk requires a broad vision, opening up to system wide systemic solutions, identifying interconnected complex eco relationships, and contextual knowledge that cannot be understood in sectoral isolation. So why transdisciplinarity? We are facing complex challenges that are socially complex and multidimensional, that are shaped and constrained by the cultural, environmental, and political contexts in which they occur. 
The complexities of living and coping with fundamental and rapid environmental and social transformations are best understood and explained by people living and working in these environments. These stakeholders may come from business, civil society, they may be politicians, professionals like engineers or doctors, government workers, trade unionists, residents, they may come from the faith community or the military. TD research in this context aims to develop new ways of understanding and dealing with the challenges of environmental change by creating space for the scientific community to collaborate both with the groups affected and with those who are in a position to influence policy and practice. Science can make a difference. Tackling these wicked challenges has put science under the spotlight to provide better understandings of the complexity of the challenges we face, to accelerate the production of relevant and usable knowledge, to resolve real world problems that are too complex and multidimensional to be answered by academic researchers alone, by either natural or social scientists working within their singular disciplines. There has been progress. The last decade has seen major international developments and multilateral collaborations seeking to harness the collective knowledge around the world on global environmental change and sustainable development. The post-2015 frameworks include the Sendai framework looking at disaster risk reduction, Agenda 2030 on sustainable development goals, COP21 and Paris Agreement, Habitat 3 and the new urban agenda. There's been substantial growth in funded research and in publications in sustainability science and in TD research. Everyone wants cutting edge, problem focused research that makes a difference. The 2017 statement presented to the high level political forum of sustainable development calls for an inclusive definition of science that integrates contributions from across the academe with those from different knowledge systems. Again, let's look at why transdisciplinarity. Transdisciplinary research approaches are often suggested as appropriate means to meet both the requirements posed by real world problems as well as the goals of sustainability science as a transformational sustainability field. Essentially, TD Research wants to achieve greater understanding of and engagement with science by a varied audience, improved relationship between knowledge producers and knowledge users, and better information in the sense of increased usefulness and thus increased use of information, of course, the whole time while doing interesting science. Therefore, to recap, TD research is a method of doing science with society, as opposed to taking a more removed stance and doing science on society. It's about collaborating to co-generate knowledge, working between and across disciplinary boundaries. And there's also a double crossing in that treaty research goes beyond to bring in social knowledge. It is transformative and solution oriented. It looks to bring practical, integrated and sustainable solutions to complex real world problems. Thank you.